Great, welcome back. Moving forward, it's finally the time to actually go ahead and place the code directly on the web server and then test this particular functionality of using the account kit. So we did create the login page.php file. At this point, since I'm using the Atom editor, it's on my local computer. I can transfer it or FTP it to the web server. Or you can take the shortcut, copy the code, and create the file on the web server and paste it. Although, of course, FTP is recommended for the reason that if you have multiple PHP files, right? So if you have lots of files, it's easier to use FTP. And it's also recommended as best practice. But since we only have one particular page, we'll just copy it and then paste it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a control A to copy everything. Okay. And I'm going to navigate to my live web server. So let's move to our C panel here and then make sure you're under the public HTML root folder. Let's navigate to the file called login page.php which we already created. So I'm going to go ahead and click on code edit, click on edit. So get rid of everything that I have here because that's probably the old code. And then within this file, I'm just going to go ahead and paste. Okay. Now one thing still remains is the app ID. Okay. So in fact, let me change the app ID right here. You can of course change it in the editor, copy the code again, and then paste it again. So I missed that step. So instead of doing it all over again, I'm just going to change the IDs here. So first, my app ID, where do I get this? Recall, we need to go to your Facebook developer account, click on the app itself, and this will open up the dashboard. First thing is the app ID, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and click on copy, go back to my code, and simply paste it. And this is the secret ID, and this is the account kit secret ID. So I'm going to go back to my app again, click on account kit, and then of course I need the account kit app secret. So click on show, of course it prompts me for the password. And here's my account kit secret ID to a control C. Go back to my code, paste it. And then if I scroll down, notice there's another area where I need the app ID as well, which is right here. So let's quickly go back to our app, copy the app ID, switch back to our code, paste it. And this is our client token from within the account kit. So this is the CSRF token. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our site. And here's the account kit client token. Copy this. Go back to our code and then paste it. Perfect. And of course, the version is still 1.1. Awesome. So it's looking good. All right. Cross your fingers. Let's test the code. So save the changes here right on the live web server. Let's go to our site and navigate to the login page.php, the enter key. And of course, it takes you to the information page, but that's not the page we're looking for, right? We need the main page displayed first. So let's take a look at our code quickly. So our session looks good because we did get the page and then we got the account token, but it's displaying the actual account information first. So, which means that once the verification of the session exists, all right, so here's the bug that I found here in the code on the live web server. So the function is set needs an exclamation mark. Okay, that's why I was not pulling the first page. And let me, in fact, go ahead and correct this in my Atom editor as well. So let's scroll down to find the is set. Here it is. So this is where I need the exclamation mark. Perfect. Make sure I save it. Navigate back to my live web server. So see what we're doing here? We're going back and forth, right? So maybe not a good idea. You want to be able to, in fact, create the code once and then test it. But that's how troubleshooting and testing works, right? So as developers, you get 
comfortable and you get used to this particular process and you must get used to this process otherwise you get frustrated at times and so on so uh, being a developer requires a lot of patience okay so and you need to fall in love in fact with these bugs and that's the best way to actually become good at coding and, and development all right so once we have corrected this code let's save the changes again let's go back to our main website refresh and perfect so we have our main login page and we are also at the login page.php and of course our two buttons login with SMS and login with email so first let's click on login with SMS and see what happens so I'm gonna go ahead and click on login with SMS and there you go perfect so it brings up the SMS login login to pack delivery package delivered account kit notice the URL is coming directly from the Facebook account kit app and here's the mobile number I need to enter the country code so I'm gonna pick US and then of course my number and click next Nope, oh, make sure I have the correct number there we go so once I click next it's actively going to send me an SMS right on my mobile phone so as soon as I get the SMS I will need to enter the SMS to log in so I'm gonna click on next so it's sending the code code is finally sent and this is where I enter my code so of course I need to check my mobile phone and then enter the code so the code is three four two nine four two click continue so it's going to verify the code and if the code is correct it's going to take me to the login page which displays now the information so perfect so here's the ID right the user account information here's the country code and the phone number as well so now we have successfully tested the account kit passwordless authentication using PHP so if I were to click on click for step two verification of course you could rename this button right you can say something like click here to go to the home page or any other page you like the user to be redirected to so recall we have the user redirected to our index page right so I'm gonna click on this button and it's going to take us to the home page of our website perfect so there you have it we have successfully created a app installed the account kit we created the PHP code fully configured the code itself and now when users come to our main login page they will be directed to enter the SMS what if they were to use their email so let me quickly show you that as well make sure that functionality is also tested work and works so let's go to a login page one more time and then this time I'm gonna click on login with email and straightforward brings up the dialog box enter my email address so I'm gonna go ahead and enter the clay desk email address click next it's gonna send an email and once I receive the email of course I just need to verify it right so it says open the email and confirm your email address all right let's open up our email bring up our Gmail here quickly I thought I had it open all right so I'm gonna continue on and sign in here's the email just quickly type the email clear desk and then the password goes in here so once I access my inbox I'm going to receive an email and perfect there it is so it says account kit login to pack delivery package delivered and it says if I click on this email to open it oh it looks good so welcome to the pack delivery package delivered click this button to confirm your email address and of course I have the other URL such as the terms the policies that I configured in the account kit already so if I click on continue it's going to take me to the actual page where it says login to pack delivery package delivered and I can log in so click on login and this should display a message that you're logged in and you can now use 
pack delivery, package delivered. So this way you can test both the SMS and the email and have users log in. So let's go back to our main page here. Perfect. And of course, once I have this information, I can subsequently use this information for my own records and so on. So wonderful. So I hope this helps. Practice with the code and of course, play around with the code. Use your own imagination. Use HTML code, tags or CSS styling the way you want it. And as a homework or as a practice, make sure you come up with a couple of different versions of the actual login page.php using your own coding techniques, right? So you can add to this. So if I need to fetch more information from the user, of course I can do so. So practice with that. The more you do it, the easier it's going to be. So with this, let's move to the next lesson.